welcome to my channel if you guys are new here my name is monet if you are turning welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me you guys so i wanted to come and show you guys this unit um this is gonna be from nadula hair they are sponsoring today's get ready with me we wanted to show you guys what the unit looked like inside as well it does come with the combs adjustable straps um, i did add a band inside of the unit um, and this is how the unit looks without it being glued um, and I also want to show you guys what you get in your box when you order your unit. Um, so first, let's go ahead and pull this wig out. It does come with a wig bag as well. So when you get done with it, um, also you have a wig band so for securing your unit. And also they threw in a few wig caps. Um, they also sent some goodies, some lashes, some bands as well, and a satin cap, which I thought was nice. Um, so let's go ahead and get it to the unit. This is how the lace looks up close. I wanted to put it on my skin so that way you guys can see it. Um, I always recommend still tinting your lace, um, but this is how the unit looks. All right, so let's get into securing the unit. You guys know that I use my bed head spray to secure. I like to go underneath and use a few layers and then also spray it on top just to make sure that my unit is laid and make sure that it stays. Um, there's nothing worse than, you know, a wig that's lifting. Um, so I'm just gonna add a few layers of that. Um, I did get a 24 inch kinky straight texture um, from Nadula Hair. I will put all their links down below. I like to lay my wig before I actually put my makeup on. So I'm gonna do that and add my band. Let's go ahead and get into this glam. First, I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. This just helps with using less product for the brows. First um, steps, I like to go in with my Derma Band Cover Cream. Um, I've been using this for quite some time. Great. Um, if you are someone who suffers from like, you know, fire burns, scarring. I actually got in an accident when I was younger um, and it actually busted open my face. I know that's like, you know, pretty traumatizing, honestly. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now that I got that blended, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go ahead and put all my products on my face, concealer, contour products, foundation, and I want a simple everyday glow. I really, really like this concealer. This concealer is super buttery. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Caramel. This is the soft matte. Um, next, I'm going to go in um, with the NARS. Um, this is their new bronzing cream. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And I am taking the darkest shade. So I'm going to go ahead and add all my products on my face. Um, this is a step that I love. I will say, it's, I've probably been doing this. It's been a while. Like, I've, I've been doing this for a while, okay? <laughs> but I like to add all my products on because it just helps me not overuse my products. If you are new to makeup... Um, if you are realizing that you use just entirely too much foundation because we're not doing that anymore That was back in the day social media when they were you know applying all the makeup on their face um, The goal is to achieve a really nice coverage a really nice full look um, But not look like it's just cakey and not look like it's a lot of product on the face Like that's the ultimate goal and that, that just has a lot to do with your blending so what I like to do, I like to take my concealer first and apply that. Um, and when I'm applying the rest of my face products, it's allowing time for my concealer to get a little bit tacky on the face. Um, now, because I do tend to work with thicker creams concealers as well as matte concealers, um, it just depends on the product that you're using. So you do want to work kind of fast, but you can always take a little bit of face spray, um, setting spray, and kind of dampen it, and that will actually help it move too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out all the products um, as well. And I showed the foundation. The foundation that I'm using today is my Macau um, NARS, and I'm also mixing it um, with the, um, what is this? The Born This Way foundation as well. Really love these two. I'm gonna get under my jawline for sure make sure to get under the jawline do not have your makeup stopping at your neck um, or at your chin especially if your neck and your face does not match um, so i'm going to bring that underneath um, i like to use the warmer foundation because i tend to have some discoloration next i always go in for a second layer sometimes three layers it just really depends on the amount of um, coverage that i'm needing underneath the eyes 
Um, Y'all know I suffer from a lot of darkness underneath my eyes. So it just depends on the day. Um, but normally two layers for me is good enough. The brush that I'm using is a Real Techniques brush. I'll list it down below for you guys. Um, there is a huge difference when using it compared to a beauty blender and it definitely depends on the amount of coverage you're wanting. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my spray. I'm using the one size, uh, and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and make sure everything is nicely blended. Um, my beauty blender is still damp from prior use. Um, I like to keep it sitting next to me um, just to bring my face and my skin together as one. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place bronzer. This is the duo in the shade dark, if I'm not mistaken. One of my go-to, one of my favorite powder bronzers this far. For my nose contour lately, I have been using my face powder. Uh, my face powder is a little bit darker than my skin tone um, and it gives me a really nice contour for my nose. Next, I'm gonna go in and add my foundation on my forehead. That's usually one of my last steps because my forehead has been very, very dry lately. So we're gonna make sure that color gets up into that wig so everything looks as one. And then I'm gonna go in and set my face. My powder that I'm using is gonna be the Laura Mercier. Y'all, my favorite shade is going to be the honey one, translucent honey. I used to love the regular translucent, but you guys, this gives me a little bit more of a yellow undertone and it just gives. So I am just touching up with a little bit more of that bronzer and I'm bringing it also around my hairline just to make sure everything is nicely and bronzy. I love a good bronze face. I really want to add that color back into my skin, which is why I recommend bronzing. To the eye makeup, you guys, we are going for that soft everyday look. So I'm gonna start with my bronzer. I love this as my transition color. It's super easy, plus it saves money. You get two for one. I'm using a fluffy shadow brush from Morphe. This is one of my favorite brushes because it's so big and it does not take so long for me to apply whatever color that I'm using. Um, so I always recommend if you are, well, it doesn't matter what complexion you are to use a transition color. Um, and that is just something that is closer to your skin tone. It could be any type of brown. Um, for me, I do like more of a warmer transition color. So that's why I'm using that reddish brown. Y'all, it actually reminds me of that red brown eyeshadow from MAC, but I cannot remember. And I used to work there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the shadow, you guys. I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous gold color from Juvia's Place. This is one of their newer palettes. Um, and I'm just using my fingers to apply it. Now, because I have nails on, it just wasn't working for me. What I'm going to do is actually get another gold shadow because I just felt like it just wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it. So I'm going to use the Juvia's Place, um, the Rebel Honey. And I'm gonna apply that, and I'm also gonna use a small blending brush and pack that color on the lid a little bit more. So I decided I wanted a little bit more of a gold cast. So y'all, I went in with a third, but you don't have to do this stuff. You really could just skip it. Um, just pick the gold shade that you want, um, but I'm using the Saharan palette for the gold. Um, next, I'm going to take my blending brush. Um, this is one of more of a flat blending brush, and I am going to take a brown, and I am using it from the um, Juvia's Place um, Eye Sculpt. It's actually for eyebrows, but I really love the browns in the palette, and so I'm just taking the lightest shade and applying that um, in the crease because we are going for something that's everyday, something that's very soft. I don't want to go in with too, um, too dark of a chocolate. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy shadow brush, you guys, and I'm taking that same warm shadow that we applied in the crease, and I like to just use patting motions in there inside the crease just to make sure everything is nicely blended. Um, and I'm just warming it up at the same time. Next, I'm going to use my nude liner, you guys. This is my go-to right now. Love how creamy it is. It's from Extreme Lasting, and it lasts for up to 16 hours. It's supposed to be waterproof. I mean, I've cried and it stayed, so... <laughs> 
Um, this one is in the shade Silky Nude. And then I'm gonna go in underneath and apply that chocolate brown eyeshadow. And I'm just taking a darker one because I do like my um, lower lash line to be smoky. And I'm also gonna take that warm shadow for my crease. And I'm gonna use that in the bottom to blend out both, well, pretty much the chocolate. So next I'm gonna add a liner. Um, you guys, I did not wanna go for my typical wing because it's an everyday and I know not everyone is comfortable with a wing liner. Plus, I just been trying to give a little grown and sexy a little bit. But if you want, you can always add your wing too because I love me one. So I am using the Sephora liner, you guys. This is amazing. Like I'm going to add it to my kit because I love it that much and I need to get me another one for backup. Um, Y'all, this liner is just, and it reminds me of the NYX liner. I'm gonna add a couple um, coats of mascara on my lashes and I am using um, the mascara from, what is this, Laura Mercier. This is the Caviar Volume. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and pop some cute lashes on. This is from MCD Luxury, from my Fluffy Lash Book. I felt like these were cute, they were still fluffy, but it still gives like an everyday and it's not too much. Next, I like to go in and just add a little bit of powder underneath the eyes to clean up the um, shadow. For the lips, I'm going to go in with a brown liner. Um, just take whatever brown liner that you have. Um, I feel like it just is always based on your complexion. Um, and then just how deep or how dark that you want to go. Um, for me personally, I love a good chocolate chestnutty brown. Ugh. It just gives me everything. And I, and I like to overline my lips. Um, for this look, I'm going to use the MCD Luxury Co. Latte Lipstick. Um, I felt like it is a perfect nude. Um, and it's something subtle. But I am going to put our lighter shade in. Um, that's Coca Brulee for the inside of the lips. And then we're going to pop it with a nice glossy gloss. Because baby, a good soft glam ain't nothing without a good old nude nasty lip okay so i'm just gonna put that on there and blend that in with my liner and y'all this is super cute uh, of course i gotta add me some blush you guys i'm going in with the nars blush quad um, it's not available but i am mixing um the two orange blushes in the palette i will link those down below because you can purchase them individually To set my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Um, this one is in the shade Y505, and this is their Blurring Powder Foundation. You guys always ask me as far as like, what is the finishing powder? It's this. This gives me extra coverage, and I love it. Like, And that is a lot of the reason as to sometimes I will not add so much foundation on the face, because I know that my face powder is gonna do the job as well. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more color. You guys know I tend to over bronze nowadays and it just looks amazing in photos. My last steps, I like to take a little bit of a glow powder and I'm gonna put that on my nose. Sometimes if I do my lip last, I'll put it on my Cupid's bow as well, which is right above the lip, um, but this is enough. Now for the holidays, I might do a little cheek action, um, but I just feel like the nose highlight is just enough. And so I'm gonna go in, add a few coats of mascara on the lower lash line. And then for the finishing touches, I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that one side spray, go ahead and set my face all together. And then I like to take my powder brush. I'm not adding any extra powder. This is just me pressing the foundation and the product into the skin just to make sure everything looks nice. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. She is giving glam, your everyday glam. What do y'all think of the look? Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take these curls out. Let's go ahead and get into the hair. It's like a soft smoky eye. It's not like too much in the corner. I added a chocolate brown, but I just went ahead and added it soft. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these curls out real quick. I'm gonna fast forward this so that way it doesn't take too long. you guys so now that i unravel my hair i'm just gonna go in and straighten up my part um i noticed that obviously it was not straight when i did it because i did it on a mannequin so i knew once i put it on my hair that i would have to get it together um so i'm taking my wax stick um and the wax stick i do have linked down below you guys i do apologize i don't know why i thought i linked it um but it is down below you guys 
It is one of my favorite. Um, I want to say it's TG, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I actually was using it when I had started beauty school like years ago. Um, it's what we would use on our wigs and on our hair um, clients and stuff like that. So it stuck with me and it's a non oily wax stick like it's enough wax to melt it but it's not it doesn't leave the hair really greasy and and dull so that's the reason why i like it so um i did decide to touch up the curls a little bit because i noticed they were flat plus because it was not on my head at the time when i did initially curl it um, it just wasn't as straight as I would like it. Um, so as you can see, like I'm combing through it, but it still is left with that texture of the hair, which gives you a kind of blown out um, look, which I actually really, really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my part. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer. You can take your foundation or a powder and it would do the same. And I'm just brushing the excess that got on the hair. Um, if your unit is already black, you can literally just take some mascara on a small um, wand. Um, like a disposable one and that will do the job as well so let's talk about the specs really quick I am going to go ahead and start um, trimming my hair and I'm just adding just a few layers face framing layers um, and then I'm going to curl it up a little bit because I just want to give it some body um, the unit that I received it is a 13 by 4 lace front it is the kinky straight texture um, I know this is like my first time trying this out and baby I'm definitely loving it on top of the color all right, you guys, so it's definitely giving me blowout realness. I'm actually obsessed with this, and I will say, I don't know if I'm obsessed with the texture or it's more so the color for me because this color is gorgeous. Um, I love the way the hair takes to heat, and I don't have to pull out no baby hairs, and it works. So let me know what you guys think of this hair. Are you guys feeling it? Um, definitely check them out. I will leave their links down below um, for you guys, as well as any coupon codes. Don't forget, thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you have not. Go ahead and join the family. Let me know down below what was your favorite part, this hair or this glam. And definitely let me know if you guys are going to try this look out. Also, Nadula, thank you so much for sponsoring today's Get Ready With Me, and I will check y'all in my next video. Later.